Happy Sunday, YouTube. So, hope you're having a good weekend there. And I just thought that I'll go ahead and uh, make a quick video on how I use the DIY system, how I uh, make the mixture for the DIY system. So, today's the day when I need to uh, recharge the tanks. Uh, uh, not the tanks, there's just one bottle and for the, for the carbon dioxide supply. So, I thought that I'll make a quick video to show you guys how I mix the yeast, how much of yeast I use and uh, how much sugar I use and... Uh, uh, what's the process, what's the quickest and the easiest way to get rid of the um, old uh, liquid because I've heard a lot of people talk about like uh, it smells and uh, it's awful. Uh, I personally don't feel that way because it just smells like uh, 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 cheap quality of wine. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's just me. So I'm, I'm all into the fishes and all. So I know that how beneficial that is. So I really don't care uh, about. But then there are people who don't like to clean their aquariums with their hands. They don't want to get their sleeves dirty. So we have all kinds of people in the hobby. Uh, and then there are people who just don't care. They just know something's beneficial. They'll just go ahead and do it. So yeah, I'm one of those. And uh, yeah, so today's the day when I uh, show you how to uh, make your own DIY mixture with using yeast sugar solution um, to uh, uh, make carbon dioxide for your tank. The tank, uh, just wanted you to have a quick view of how the growth has uh, come through. Uh, the tank lights are, the hood is up, so definitely you'll have some interference of the extra light. But yeah, just have a look at the amazing way the plants have grown. Uh, and the top view always, it just amazes me the way the top view looks so just have a look there plants look all the more beautiful when viewed from above see that's that's beautiful okay so coming back to the topic so we are going to see how the diy stuff works so as you, I've shown you in one of the previous videos, this is the bottle that I use for the yeast uh, sugar mixture solution. That's just a two liter uh, water bottle that I um, used and it has a nice uh, holder to it so I can like maneuver it into the corner and it is just resting on a side ledge that's it's kind of hanging there. As you can see, there's no base, no bottom, just stuck there by pressure of the bottle. So it just fills in the space there so when i fill it in it kind of sits there snug and after the carbon dioxide starts bubbling out that's when it just goes berserk and just gets stuck there so there's no way that thing comes out or falls off so that's the whole thing okay so first thing first let me just uh, remove the excess co2 okay there goes the face and let me change the hand and pull that out there you go. I think there's still some fizz left. Yeah, that's our fizzy drink. Homemade aquarium wine with a lot of ants. Yeah, those are sugar ants. I just love sugar. I'm not sure if they get tipsy on the extra alcohol that they're getting there. So this is my kitchen. Kind of dirty. Mm, but yeah, okay, solves the purpose. Who cares? Um, okay, so I'll just uh, pause this video for a bit because I need to change the hands here and I'm holding the phone here. So let me just go ahead and do that. All right, so here's a bottle. Let's uh, give it a good rinse because that's what requires. The dead is yeast should not be there. Preferably just throw it off. Clean the bottle, that should be good enough. The water is kind of warm, so that helps in CO2 generation. Alright, so the bottom part is done. Now, what we need to do is mix the yeast. And of course, we'll need some warm water for the yeast. And uh, we have to go ahead and uh, take care of that, that the water is a little lukewarm, not really hot. Because that would again affect uh, the yeast, it would kill the yeast. So uh, let me go ahead and get something which I can heat the water in. Okay, this looks like a good enough thing. Uh, okay, just excuse me. 
confused the way the video is going. I just have like two hands, so. Okay. Ah, nice. So let's heat the water. Not like a lot, but a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to boil it. I'm just going to warm it. So I'm going to check with my little finger how hot or cold that is. Okay, seems to be correct. So done. Not even 10 seconds is all that I needed. Okay, so next comes the yeast. All right, so here's the stuff that I need for the day. Active dried yeast. That's right here. And I need a tablespoon to measure it and something to cut it with. So let me just uh, get that out. So I'm going to use two teaspoons of uh, this yeast. This yeast. Use two teaspoons of this. And I'm going to mix it with the water and make a fine solution of that before I pour that into the sugar mixture. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. All right, so here's the yeast in the water and next we have to go ahead and mix it thoroughly. Same way you do for making bread at home. So you have to make sure that this is mixed. So as you can see, the granules are there. So this should be thoroughly mixed with the water. That's the next step. And the more the mix, the better, the faster the returns. That's the point. So try to mix it as much as possible and yeah, then pour it into the sugar solution that you made. All right, so this is what you get. This is the thick liquid that you get after mixing the yeast thoroughly. And yeah, so now the next step would be to pour some sugar into this bottle. Pour some water, pour the mixture in and finish it. But before that, I may need to make a funnel for this because I don't have a funnel. I mean, uh, not that every human being has a funnel at home. So what I do is I use um, foil. It works out well. It's disposable. So I just make a funnel out of a foil, use it to pour the stuff and throw it off. So that's the simple DIY cheap method. Okay, so yeah, here we are. Um, that's the sugar that I'm going to use. That's quite a good quantity, um, approximately about half a kilo. I'll use 300 grams of uh, sugar and uh, mix it with the yeast, the quantity of the yeast that I've taken. So let me see if I can pour it one handed. That's the funnel I've made. Uh, hopefully it will not tip over. Yeah, it will. So yeah, just pour that sugar in and uh, I'll show you what to do next. So let me just pour the sugar after stopping the video. All right, so yeah, got a different angle to show it to you. So I'll pour the sugar in. Yeah, the sugar is in. I've put approximately 300 grams. You don't need to be exact. So the sugar is there. Next goes in the solution of yeast. That's already activated. So I'll use the same funnel to pour the yeast. Yes, there goes the yeast. Leave it here. And next goes the water. This is done. My disposable funnel is done. So no longer required. And I fill nearly to the top. Yes, so that's nearly filled to the top. I'll give it a good shake because it needs to mix well. So close the lid. Take the bottle. Give it a good mix. You want the solution to start reacting as soon as possible. Give it a good mix. Give it a good mix. I think that's a good mix. Done. Yeah, so next would be to connect it back to the uh, the connection and it should be good enough. So, yeah. All right, so here's the DOS system. I've connected that back to the line, mm, the tubing. 
So I've make sure that this cork is as tight as possible because there's a lot of pressure inside and it's going to push that off and uh, everything is in line. So that's my counter and uh, kind of a protective gear where it stops the yeast water from getting into your tank. So yeah, that's done. And as I said, all I do is I just pour the bottle and let it, I mean, just let the bottle sit. Let's sit. So it's gone there and it's sitting on its own. Nothing else to be done. It will push itself into a good position. I don't need to do much. Yeah, so that's it. So, yeah, as you've seen, that's how simple DIY CO2 system is. And uh, it takes about, uh, I mean, generally it takes about 24 hours, but since it's summer out here, and we are in the higher 30s. So yeah, yesterday in the afternoon, it was about 36. So I expect that to be a quick step. And I should get some bubbles of carbon dioxide from, I mean, this evening itself. Yeah, and it'll be in full force by tomorrow morning. So yeah, so that's it. That's how simple it is. So go ahead, try, see how it works out for you. And let me know your thoughts and if you've noticed something that I could do better. If there is something that can help me make this process more efficient. I'm all ears. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, yeah, happy fishing. Thank you, guys.